Gina Carano has never been one to be shy about expressing her opinions and calling out individuals for basically hypocrisy. And for one, I got to applaud her for standing on principle. And others should take note of what's going on in Hollywood, more specifically with Disney and Lucasfilm and Marvel, because this involves Lucasfilm and Marvel within Disney. In a post made by Mark Ruffalo over on X, comparing the United States of America to, I'll say, call it pre World War II Germany. What a certain leader with the last name H basically took over the country and turned it into a fascist nation. But before I get into that, just want to take a, a quick moment to thank everyone that takes the time out of their day to view my videos on my channel. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Uh, you'll get some interesting takes on, con on, on what's going on as far as in Hollywood, entertainment, pop culture, uh, even a little bit of sports thrown in there from time to time as it pertains to the, the culture wars. Um, and while you're at it, smash that like button. That helps out with the YouTube algorithm, helps get my channel promoted on YouTube. And I appreciate every single one of you that takes the time to, to do those two things. And lastly, uh, before, you, be before you leave, Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Love to hear the feedback as far as things I'm doing right, things I'm doing wrong. Feedback on the video I po videos I post. You share your opinions. So with that, let's dive right on in, shall we? This is from thatparkplace.com. John F. Trent, check him out. Gina Carano eviscerates the Walt Disney Company as Mark Ruffalo compares America to Nazi Germany. Former Mandalorian actress Gina Carano shredded the Walt Disney Company in response to a post from Mark Ruffalo comparing the United States to pre-World War II Germany. And I'm talking from about 1933 to 1939. And what happened in Germany when they transitioned from a democratic republic to a full-on fascist government. Ruffalo appeared to react to the U.S. Supreme Court ruling 6-3 decision that former presidents have some immunity from criminal prosecution for official acts during his tenure in office. He did not take the ruling well, as many others on the left, in Hollywood, in government. They thought that ruling was giving Donald J. Trump a pass. And if they actually used their brain and engage their brain, and actually look at what the ruling did and said, that is not the case. So, again, he put a post out there over on X, and here's the post. Just for the record, history's repeating itself. And self-explanatory, you guys can see what he's saying, or infer what he's saying. And Gina, well, good for you. You didn't hold back. Double standards on full display. It's a constant and obvious elephant in the room in Hollywood. There's an example after example, such as Mark Buffalo's below, that proved this. Whom, by the way, I believe should have the right to express himself without getting fired. For those of you that do not know, Gina Carano is currently suing Disney for wrongful termination because of a post she put out on Instagram that those in Disney dis did not like, they disagreed with, and they terminated her contract over it. Now, what she's pointing out here as far as the double standard is the fact that Mark Ruffalo put this post out on X, and because the ideologues that work at Disney agree with Mark Ruffalo in this post, nothing gonna happen to him. And there's your double standard. I'll continue. 
Although I cringe at most of all his political posts. He's an actor, but he is a human being passionate and engaging in something that he feels strongly about. It must be a nice feeling to express yourself so freely. Not everyone in this country has that privilege without having everything that they love taken from them. Do we wonder why he has that privilege and I did not? The answers are in her case, referring to the court case that's currently um, underway against Disney. I know people would prefer basketball players to just dribble or actors to just act, but when you're in a world where lives are being destroyed and lost all around you, how does any human being become forced to stay silent when death by injustice surrounds them? I mean, she she's not holding back here, folks. She's she's right on the money. Continuing, Disney and Lucasfilm maliciously twisted the narrative of, of a meme I posted, which I was encouraging neighbors not to demonize their neighbors or history could repeat itself. There was nothing wrong with the meme she posted. They twisted that meme into saying that I was denigrating people off of their cultural and religious beliefs. It was suggested that I was comparing Republicans to the Jewish people of the Holocaust, something that I never said or posted. I called on one. I called no one a certain group of people in Germany in the 1930s and 1940s. I did not deny the Holocaust. Read that last sentence again. I never did this. Never in all caps. Yet I was smeared as an anti-Semite. That doesn't seem to happen to a certain group of people that choose to use these comparisons as well. Why is that? Well, it's because they share a similar ideology. That's why that happens. The rules for thee and not for me group. So why? what are the rules exactly? This lie was fed to you by the corrupt media based off a statement from Disney Lucasfilm, who I've since doubled down on their slander towards me. Their narrative took on a life of its own while my own life and career were tossed aside. The media repeated and repeated this lie until it became an untruthful fact to many. Remember the old adage, repeat a lie enough times, it becomes truth. And that's what, that's what the media does. That's what the, the corporate shill media does. The mainstream media does. They will lie and lie and lie and lie until it becomes truth. Who aren't the best at doing their own research, who instead listen to fake news and what we've seen journalism digress into. Spare very few brilliant journalists. Yeah, there are a few brilliant journalists still left out there. One of them being James O'Keefe, who currently has got his sights set on Disney and exposing the things that are going on with inside Disney right now. A demoralized society becomes hungry for propaganda, willing to give up their rights and the rights of others. It causes division and drives so societies into a mob mentality, picking one group of people, turning neighbor against neighbor. It is one of the largest reasons the gates were open for certain individuals in Germany in the 1930s and 40s to come into power in the first place. This way of doing things cannot be, cannot be what we base condemning and destroying people's livelihoods and careers off of. But unfortunately, that's where we're at in 2024. And this started, I want to say, probably five, six, seven years ago. Uh, there's example after example. Uh, I can think of a minor league baseball player who was a star player in the Atlanta Braves organization who had his career derailed, if I remember correctly, because of some tweets that he posted when he was 16, 17 years old. You know, people will go out and sniff out and dig up stuff on you from years ago and use it against you today to derail your career. And it's, it's become all too common of a thing. This way of doing things cannot be what we base condemning and destroying people livelihoods and careers off of. The media manipulates masses so easily based on their affiliations with large corporations and powerful people who signal and encourage them to destroy <clears throat> Disney. Where my case stands as of now, we are patiently waiting with respect to the judge's ruling on whether she will grant or deny Disney Lucasfilm to dismiss the case that I have brought against them. Disney and Lucasfilm 
are wanting to dismiss her case and they're using the First Amendment saying they have the right to fire somebody that they disagree with. That's 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 a oversimplification, but that's basically what's happening. And the judge in the case is, according to reports, is leaning toward Gina Carano and her team and the arguments that they're making against dismissing this case. My hope is that my case brings balance back to a very broken industry. My case is not just for people who think exactly like me, but for everyone who will be and has been placed in this position. Let's restore the balance, something that I believe the majority of the industry desires, just as I believe the majority of our beautiful country desires as well. We could have conversations where we don't agree. In fact, we just might learn something from each other through more conversations. Wow, shocking, isn't it? Conversations. Talking to people that you don't agree with and having a conversation instead of screaming at each other, trying to change each other's minds. What a concept. Conversation over cancellation, like I've said from the beginning. Now, her case, and John Trent brings it up here in his article. Um... Carano sued the Walt Disney Company in February this year after she was fired in February 2021 via a Lucasfilm spokesman who informed multiple media outlets that Gina Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their culture and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. That was the statement Lucasfilm put out, which is an out and outright falsehood, my opinion. That statement from the spokesman came after Carano shared a post from Warrior Priest Jim podcast to her Instagram stories that read, Jews were beaten in the streets, not by German soldiers, but by their neighbors, even by children. The post then shares a quote, which reads, because history is edited, most people today don't realize that to get to the point where German soldiers could easily round up a few thousand Jews, the government first made their own neighbors hate them simply by being Jews. How is that any different from hating someone for their political views? Along with this text, it included an image of a woman un- in undress being chased by use with blunt objects. The lawsuit specifically accuses Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm of wrongful discharge, wrongful discharge, and refusal to rehire, and discrimination. And as of, I think, a couple weeks ago, I think it was like 10 days ago, uh, the judge in the case, Sherilyn Peace Garnett, appeared to side with Corona and her lawyers against the Walt Disney Company who have attempted to dismiss the case. According to the Hollywood Reporter, Judge Garnett was unconvinced by Disney's arguments, I'm not convinced there are no disputed facts. Yellett also reported that Judge Garnett appeared to favor an argument from Carano's lawyer, Gene Schar, for Cher. Disney's First Amendment defense cannot allow it to shortcut the normal litigation process. So that's pretty much where we're at with the case right now. They're waiting on the judge to decide if this case is going to move forward or if it's going to get dismissed. I'm hoping it goes it moves forward because that's going to lead to discovery and some probably not so good things are going to come out in discovery as it pertains to Disney and Lucasfilm, which is what we're all waiting for with their buckets of popcorn. So just to wrap this up here, there's been a few comments on this article. Um, I'm going to read them all because these comments are opinion and People agree, people disagree. In America, a strong, independent woman may have a voice if that voice follows expectations. Meaning, if you're a strong, independent woman and you voice your, your, use your voice in a certain way that certain people like, then you're okay. But if you're Gina Carano and voice your opinion in a way that certain people don't like, that's when you get terminated from your job. And that's what her lawsuit is about. And then this person here, well, actually, you can be expected to be canceled if you spew toxic racist hate. It doesn't matter if you're white or black, human or dog. If you give your support to toxic racists or even just wear a symbol of their hate, 
via a German symbol or a MAGA hat, you can expect to pay consequences for your hate. I got one thing to say to that. And that one thing is prove it. Wearing a MAGA hat does not mean you're a toxic racist. And it doesn't mean you hate. That is someone who's whose opinion has been shaped by the mainstream media and liberal Hollywood and some dark, deep corners of the internet. This guy here replied to him and says, so why didn't Mark face the same consequences as Gina? Shouldn't everyone be treated the same? That answer is, yeah, everybody should be treated the same, but they're not. How is letting Mark say what he wants without consequence fair? You don't think Mark should get fired like Gina did. You are what you say you hate. Discovery will prove just how terrible a person Kathleen Kennedy really is. You are also racist and sexist. If you don't think Mark should get fired, bring on Discovery. Absolutely. Mark Ruffalo comparing the United States of America to pre-World War II Germany. Biden's America. She's a terrible person. I remember seeing her at a recent convention. Nobody around her table. She had two Ben Shapiro types that I'm guessing are her handlers. That's what happens if you follow toxic, fascist, racists like Trump. Little dick Donald Trump is a cancer to America. Okay, dude, here's the thing. When Gina Carano does these cons and conventions... Out of anybody that is there that had anything to do with Star Wars, her line is the longest. And she stays past closing to make sure she meets and signs and talks to everybody that is waiting in that line. And as far as the two Ben Shapiro types that are her handlers, well, one of those Ben Shapiro types happens to be drunk 3PO. And if you follow his channel, you will know that he sometimes attends these cons and conventions with Gina. He was at MegaCon here in Orlando this past February when Gina was in town for MegaCon. And no, he is not a handler. So if you were at a recent convention and you said nobody was around her table... I highly doubt you were there when Gina was there. So prove it. Now on the Mark Ruffalo comment, Matthew Marsden, you do know that calling people you disagree with the N-word for German people pre-World War II is a thing on social media, right? Genuine question. When did you become so irrational? This one here, just for the record, no one gives a shit what Hollywood thinks. Yep. Hulk angry, I guess. <laughs> so, there you have it. Gina, with the perfect messaging, not only for Mark Ruffalo, but literally just destroying Disney in the process. So what do you think about her comments? What do you think about Mark, Mark Ruffalo's comments? Comment in the comment section down below. That's a lot of comments. Um, while you're at it, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will see you guys later.